Coach Chris hanging out with Chef Key in the kitchen and I'm excited because we're into football season right now. I'm a huge football fan. You mean soccer? No, I, I, you're right, you're right. I mean, I mean American football. All right, I, I love that say, yeah, love American that football. Yeah, I, yeah, because you're you probably a huge uh, football or soccer fan. Soccer fan, right? yeah, huge soccer fan. But I tell you what, you know, I discovered American football when I came in this country 15 years ago, and I love it. You do love. Yeah, okay, so good. All right, so I'm I'm a huge football guy, and I and I have a huge appetite. So on Saturdays and Sundays, college football or pro football, I want to eat chicken, but I don't want chicken breasts. I want chicken like chicken wings or drumsticks or something like that. So you have a really good easy recipe that tastes amazing. Yeah, you know, Chris, we always talk about the best of both worlds. Right. And with this recipe, we have it. Here is why. It's uh, chicken wings. We're going to cook chicken wings, except I'm going to show you a way to make them a little less fat, actually a lot less fat, just as tasty. And also, it doesn't take much time to cook. You ready? All right, I'm ready. Let's do it. So, uh, the big change that I want you to see is that these are uh, uh, the chicken drumstick, and that's much better because they're actually much leaner than the chicken wings. So I'm using uh, an aluminium foil. Uh, I don't usually do that, but I do this when I want to, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, save time. You know, so that's great. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drizzle with a tiny bit of oil, not a lot. I don't want a lot of fat in that dish. I'm going to go ahead and salt and pepper it a little bit, just for the sake of it. But mainly, I'm going to go ahead and put your spice of choice, okay? So this one is a Creole seasoning, but that can be chili powder, that can be cayenne pepper, if you like it spicy. And I'm just going to go ahead and give them a little red paprika. That's a great job also. I'm just going to go, go ahead and give them a little red like that, okay? I'm also going to put a tiny bit of a good barbecue sauce, but just a tiny bit, you know, because I just want to marinate them a little bit. I probably put like the equivalent of one tablespoon in there, okay? And I'm just gonna mix that together. See, they're starting to get, you know, the reddish color. And you know what, don't be afraid about, you know, putting some spices in there. You know what, it's too spicy, some other guys are gonna like it anyway, you know. If it's too spicy, next time you cut it down a little bit, but then you build experience. And then with experience, you know how to season exactly. So don't worry too much about the seasoning. You can go, you know, slow at the beginning, but then don't hesitate to bring up the spices there, okay. So look at this, this is nice and red. This looks a little bit more like um, chicken wings, except it's drumstick. I'm gonna put that in the oven right now, boom. What temperature? This is at 425, okay, because I want them a little charred like that. But that can be lower, 350, 375, that works well. You all had chicken wings before. You know how they're supposed to look like once they're cooked. Have a look in there, that's gonna take about 30 minutes. You take a look, you grab one, you eat it, you taste it, that's what it's all about. Now let me show you how you're going to present this. Watch this, I have a little, um, um, platter here with a little bowl. In that bowl, I'm gonna put some reduced fat sour cream right there. And that's super easy, you can do that in like five, 10 minutes when you're used to it, you know? And I have some blue cheese, whatever blue cheese you want, okay? This one is like, it's like a gorgonzola, so I'm just gonna break it on the top like that. I might mix it, I might not, you know, depending on the look I want to do, or I can have, you know, my friend kind of like, you know, play with it, you know, it's nice and rustic, like that. I don't have to mix it if I don't want to, okay? Let me dry my hand. I also cut some celery, washed and cut like that, and I'm just going to put that right on the side, on the side like that, all right? And I'm gonna wait for this. When I whip my wings are ready, I'm just going to dump them in there and they'll be ready to serve in just a second. That's all there is to it. 30 minutes in the oven, I don't have to stay there. I can go, uh, you, know, you know, mow my lawn, take a shower, take the dog for a walk, nothing's gonna happen. The drumstick, the drumstick are gonna be just fine. All right, chicken wings are ready. They're in the oven right now. We're gonna go and pick them up. Here they are. Does that look like beautiful barbecue chicken wings there, right? 
I'm gonna mix them all around to make sure they're uh, nicely coated with the juice they have given already. Now, I wanna give you a trick. Some of you might be interested in getting rid of the fat even further. Remember, we're not using chicken wings, we're using drumstick, which is leaner. If you wanna go one step further, watch this. You remove the fat in just a second, and that's it. You have a lean, completely fatless uh, drumstick that you can enjoy for football, okay? I like a little bit of the fat, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play this. That's perfect for football. Now, this is just for like one or two, right? But you can make like a whole bunch of them. It doesn't take you more time than that, and it just looks awesome. Ready for football.